All right, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a screen replacement on a MacBook Air model A1932. This is the 2018 slash 2019 model. As you can see, the line is all pixelated on the left side here, and it is cracked right across the screen. So we'll be replacing the full assembly on a MacBook Air, and this is the Rose Gold, it doesn't matter what color it is, either a space gray or silver, the step of replacing the screen are the same. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I know that the computer is not power off. We are gonna disconnect the battery and that will shut the computer off. The first thing we need to do is to get yourself a Pentalo P5 screwdriver. This is a P5. We are gonna remove all the screws here and get right into the back cover. The screws are not the same size as you remove the screw. Make sure that you do not mix match those screws and kind of get an idea on how you lay them out. It's the same way on how you're going to put them back together. If you're not sure where to buy the tools from, please check the link down description below. I will link them to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen as well as the tools for this repair. Okay, P5, once you're done with that, it's a Pentalope 5. The next step I like to do is to get a metal prying tool to kind of go in between that back cover and the iPad here. So let's go ahead and try to get it underneath like such. Okay, and we are going to pop that little clipper. There's a clipper right in the middle. So we're going to pop it by just separating the back cover like such. Okay. And then you can just remove the back cover very easily. Once you have done with that process, we want to go ahead and disconnect the battery and let's go ahead and do such. Let's do so. Da, da, da. Okay, we're going to slide this connector to your left all the way until the, the connector comes off and you should be seeing that the computer is turned off okay it's not turning on and the battery is, is disconnected all right so let's continue with the process once we have disconnected the battery we want to go ahead and get yourself a T4 screwdriver. This is a torque T4. Okay, T4, we're gonna remove the two screws here. Oh, sorry, T5, T5, T5. Okay, T5, apologize. Let's go ahead and remove the two screws here. Okay, once you have removed the four screws, I'm going to use a T4 now. I'm going to remove the two tiny screw here. That is for your Wi-Fi. So this one and the second. And the bracket will just come right off. Make sure you save the bracket on the side. Got a plastic prying tool. Go ahead and pry open that cable you can just lift it straight up okay once you have done with that process next is to remove the two screws here holding the LCD board this one here and the second one is on this side okay the two screws was removed using a T4 and the PCB board for that LCD screen it would just come loose Okay, the next step is to remove the two screw here, top and the bottom right. Because we need to remove the bracket. Of this bracket here, once you remove that bracket, you can now 
disconnect the LCD cable. Okay. Once you have done with that process, now I believe you can disconnect the Wi Fi cable. Just going to wiggle it slightly, gen gentle, make, making sure that the the um, the LCD cable is flipped all the way backwards because when you remove that Wi-Fi cable, you do not want to snap and get caught and yank that whole cable out. Okay, once you have removed the Wi-Fi antenna, you want to slide it out away from the LCD cable. Okay, once you have done with that process, get yourself a T8 screwdriver. We're going to remove that three screws holding down the hinge. Another three screws on the left. If you can't see it, there's one, two, and three. Okay, at this point here, you can go ahead and separate the LCD screen. I'm going to open up the LCD all the way to the back. Once you have reached to the back, you can now slide the LCD out like such and then slide it out on the other side. And the whole LCD will just come right off. Here's the replacement screen. It's a full assembly. What I like to do is to get a T8 screwdriver and open up the hinge like such, make it easier. Okay, and all the way to the back. I'm gonna transfer this little smiley face so that when I turn on the computer, it doesn't show the user's name. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the old screen. We do not need that anymore. We're going to make sh making sure that the PCB board, that LCD screen cable is flipping up. And we are going to make sure that this thing go on top of the computer. Okay. Once you have that configured, now you want to pick up your screen. Okay, and you want to slide it in. On both sides of it. Okay, just slide it in. Take your time, you don't have to rush it, making sure that it is sliding on both sides. Like such, okay? Open it up, slide it in on both sides of the hinge. While the screen is still open, you want to make sure that the flex cable is sitting on top freely because you do not want to pinch and clamp onto the flex cable. Once you have confirmed it's all good, while you're holding it on one side of your hand, using a right hand or whichever way, put one of the screws in to hold down the screen on the hinge so that you can close the screen and continue working with it. Okay, I put one screw on each side of the screen. Now I can close the new LCD screen down and ready to continue my work. Finish up with the rest of the screws on the top right corner. That is your right hinge. Just put two more screws in it. And I'm done with the right side. I'm going to come here and do the left, having two more screws in it. Okay, once I'm done with that process, I now want to move on with the next step. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. You want to make sure that you slide true in between that hole of the Wi-Fi antenna. 
coming down, making sure that the the video cable is not get caught. Okay, slide it in and just kind of push it down at this point. You might want to make sure that you clip onto the base. You want to be very gentle with it. Once you have done with that process while you're holding it down and get yourself a T5. Remember the two screws on one side of the Wi-Fi antenna, making sure that you screw all the way in. There's one here, there's one on the other side. And then you want to do the same for that screw. So the process of this repair is not that difficult, but you just have to making sure that you know what you're doing and putting the screw back and how it was. All right, there are gonna be two more screws here. If you're using a T4, that is to hold down the, uh, the PCB board, that little video board right here. So the two screws gonna go here. And that one screw is going to go on top on this section right here. Okay, on this side. Now let's go ahead and reconnect the video, uh, the LCD cable. They're just like Lego, you snap onto it, you just have to make sure you align them correctly. Do not force it down. You just have to make sure you align them correctly and gently press it in. And you can feel that little push and it gets into it. Making sure that you have the bracket to go back on top. T4, two tiny little screw to hold down the bracket, making sure that the cable is securely fastened. Okay, once you have done with that process, go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi cable again. You just have to make sure you align them in the right position and gently push it in. You don't have to force it in. It doesn't take uh, a force to push the Wi-Fi in together. All you have to do is just make sure you align them correctly and then just gently pressing it down and that should secure the Wi-Fi antenna. Again, it's just a round circle on top of each other, a smaller circle and a bigger circle, making sure that you sit on top of each other and gently push it down. Put the bracket back in with the two screws on top. Securely fasten that Wi-Fi antenna. Be very careful when you put the screws in because the screws are so tiny. Sometimes it slip and you might put a scratch to your motherboard. So be very careful not to put a lot of pressure on that. Last but not least, go ahead and reconnect the battery. So let's flip that little tape back here. Connect the battery by sliding it to your right. Back to the connector, like such. Pushing it all the way in and close it down. Let's go ahead and have the uh, back cover go back on top. Okay, we're gonna have the screws. Pentalo P5, screwed it in. So the screws, the longer screws are all on the top. There are four of them. And then the rest of it are a lot shorter. Just a quick reminder, and if you're not sure where to buy the tools and the replacement screen, please check the link down in the description below. I believe about $200 or so, you are, you are able to fix your own uh, laptop screen here. And if you want to show appreciation on 
saying thank you to me. Uh, there is a super thanks at yeah, um, YouTube. We can click on the super thanks. You can do like a donation and I would be really appreciate if you want to show me your appreciation that, that my video helps and able to get your screen replaced. Hopefully you save some money uh, by doing it yourself. Okay, once you have all the screws in, press it down, clip it in. Now the secret tricks, because you watch all the way at the end of the video, I like to share with you uh, the little secret here. You need to plug in the charger because we disconnected the battery. Uh, sometimes the computer doesn't turn on unless you plug in the charger. Okay, once you plug in the charger, give it like a few seconds. Press the power button, hopefully it turns on. And hopefully you have a awesome screen. Okay, so I can see that Apple logo is powering up. Making sure that I hide the identity of the name. Still loading. The first boot is going to take some time because we disconnected the battery. So it's going to uh, try to register itself. Take some time, but once you get in, there you go. The screen is all good. You can see that my cursor is moving. Um, the screen is all no pixelated anymore. It's good to go. So, yep, hopefully this video is helpful to you. And again, if you want to show appreciation, please give me that super thanks on YouTube. I really appreciate that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye now. Oh, yep. Hit the like button and subscribe. Bye now.